Hey guys, King Lemesov here, and in this video we're going to show you the M16A3 made by Sima. Now I'm just going to start by saying this is a fully sized assault rifle which can fire semi or full auto and it is used by the US Army and this version is a Chinese clone. Now going over the, the body, this is a this is an almost fully metal assault rifle. There are some plastic parts but uh, most of the important parts are metal such as the receiver, the gearbox and internals. As for the plastic parts, the handguard is plastic. Uh, which allows you to add uh, so the rails it allows you to add um, accessories now because it's plastic it does help reduce the weight a little bit other than that it's got a plastic stock which is hollow because the battery goes inside here and the pistol grip is also plastic now this is a pretty big rifle it actually measures exactly one meter in length so it is pretty big and it's not actually too heavy though, it's actually lighter than the Sima M4A1 because the Sima M4A1 is pretty much fully metal whereas this does have some plastic parts as I've said but it doesn't actually feel that heavy now as for the magazine, it does come with a fully metal high cap magazine which can hold about 300 rounds and it's a wind up magazine now it's can, this rifle can shoot about 800 rounds a minute so you'll probably I'd probably recommend you get at least a mid cap magazine because otherwise you're probably going to need to change it quite often and this clone can actually accept um, G&G, Tokyo Muri and other M4 and M16 magazines now if I rack it back it does remove the dust cover and if you're looking closely you can see an adjustment knob and you can actually just adjust this to adjust the hop up. Now it does have front and rear sights. There is, I believe, an iron sight on the front and the rear sight is adjustable. You can actually adjust it. It does come on the rifle. Also comes with a metal carrying handle. You can actually take this off if you don't want it, but it does make it quite convenient to carry also has sling mounts on the front and the rear and um, I probably would recommend a sling with this I'll go into more details about this later other than that as with all real imitation firearms the build is pretty realistic but there are a couple of functions that don't work such as the forward assist here if you push it in it doesn't do anything it's got a shell deflector and obviously there aren't going to be any shells coming out but it just adds to the realism now as for the battery the battery actually goes in the stock all you do is you just open the stock up and from here you can see what you do is you insert the battery, connect it and then just shove it in and close it. There's a lot of room and other than that there's not really much else to explain. Now just to summarise the overall build of this gun, it is a Chinese clone but you do get quite good bang for your buck, you get good value for money. Uh, because this is a mostly metal rifle, there are a few plastic parts, but it is mostly metal. Uh, it does fire pretty well, it's upgradable, it's compatible with other magazines. But one thing you do want to consider when you buy, if you do buy this gun, is it is very, very big. So it might be quite cumbersome. Um, it, you know, you probably do want a sling. I wouldn't recommend a one-point sling though, because if you get a one-point sling, it will probably drag around on the floor, catch on your gear. Um, but you probably do want at least a two point sling. If you get a two point sling, it will really help reduce the carrying load. Now, as always, we do have to say, if there are any UK customers watching this, if you do want to buy this gun, 
and you're not a skirmish site member you can still buy it from us but in order to comply with the law we will have to paint it for you and there is also an age restriction so more details can be found on our website thank you very much for watching please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe